Welcome to the Dream Big, My Friend podcast, where you will find all the inspiration you need to begin living a more intentional life today. Because no matter where you are right now in life, it's never too late to dream big, my friend. And now here's your host, Francis Vitakovic. Hello, my friend, and welcome to the Dream Big My Friend podcast. This is your host, Francis Vitakovic. And today's episode is going to be a little bit of an interesting one because it's going to involve you taking a trip forward into time. And I'm going to ask you to pretend that today is December 31. So it's the last day of the year. The whole year has passed. I know that we're just at the beginning, but just stick with me here. So if you're someone that has set goals at the beginning of the year, so in January 1st, if you sat down and you wrote a list of all the things that you wanted to achieve this year in 2022, I want you to pretend that you have come to the end of a year, except rather than feeling really excited because you've achieved all the goals that you hoped for, we're going to imagine that the truth is the alternative, that you are sitting there in December 31st and you're feeling a little bit de- depressed, frustrated because all those goals didn't come into fruition. And the question that I'm going to be asking you to consider is this, why? What is the reason that you actually didn't get those goals that you were hoping for? Now, this is going to involve you having to put on your detective hat and think about the reasons why. And I cannot tell you how important this question is. And I'm going to recommend that you actually pull out your journal today and write down those answers, all those reasons why didn't you get your goal? So because I said you have to put on your detective hat, I want you to just imagine all the possible reasons for not achieving your goal. So let's just say that you had a health goal and you wanted to lose 10 kilos over the course of a year. What is the reason why that didn't happen? So let me just imagine if I was to set myself a goal, I've set myself a health goal, but it's not 10 kilos. It's to lose a smaller amount because I was just planning to do it in incremental steps. Why didn't it happen? So some of the reasons that come to mind, like why, why didn't that happen might be, I didn't actually prioritize this goal. I had it in my mind, but I didn't make it a priority. I didn't do enough exercise. I didn't go for my daily walks. I go for walks twice a day. I might've completely slacked off with that. And when it came to like consuming foods, maybe I just overindulged way too much. So every time someone offered me a piece of cake or some chocolate. I just said yes. And I consumed more than just one piece. I had a lot. So just imagine all the reasons why you didn't get that goal. And I want you to write those reasons down into your journal. You have to imagine that you are looking for the answers to this question. Why didn't it happen? And let's just say you have a business goal, which might be to earn $100,000 from your business this year in 2022. You've now at the end of a year, December 22, and you're thinking about why didn't it happen? Why did I stay stuck? Now, obviously, to create a different result in your life, you need to be willing to do things differently, so take different actions, but those actions need to be fueled from different thoughts, more supportive thoughts that are going to get you to your goal because your thoughts are going to fuel your feelings, which encourage you to take action from that feeling. So if you have spent your entire year thinking, I can't do it, this is too hard, what's the point of even trying, is it really any surprise when your results don't reflect your initial goal? I mean, technically it sort of makes sense. You didn't really believe it could happen, you thought it was too hard, you didn't take those actions because you weren't feeling inspired or motivated, and as a result, you don't have that goal. Now, the cool thing about this exercise that I'm suggesting to you here in this podcast today is that it can be applied to any goal. It doesn't matter what your goal is. I still want you to fast forward to the future, pretend you've jumped into a time machine and here you are, the last day of the year, you didn't get that goal, you're feeling really deflated. What is the reason? And the answer is not, I don't know, okay? I want you to go digging until you find the answer. But I do want to share with you one of the most common reasons why we don't actually make any progress in our life. It's because we do the same things over and over again, expecting a different results. Please allow me just to share with you just this golden nugget of wisdom. If you are starting this new year with a really massive goal that you are hoping to achieve, and you aren't willing to do anything different, if you are just planning to do the same old things over and over again, there is a really good chance you're not going to get to that goal because you need to do things differently. 
Now let's flip the coin on this question that I'm asking you. Why didn't you get the goal? And imagine a different version of yourself, like the best version of yourself where you are sitting there about to celebrate New Year's Eve, about to go out and you are feeling on top of the world because that goal that you were hoping to achieve is is done. It's complete. You've got it. You did it. You are feeling amazing. And ask the question now, what did that version of yourself The version of yourself that was willing to dream bigger and just go for it. What did they do over the year in order to get that result? And what thoughts were they thinking along the way in order to bring those results to life? Because, again, what this is a weird thing. No one ever believes me when I say it, but your thoughts are the most important place to start because you can't achieve your goals if you're constantly telling yourself it's too hard, it's impossible. No, there's no way. I mean, just say those words in your head. Like, are those useful thoughts? Nope. Do they make you feel good? Absolutely not. I know that if I was to tell myself, there's, it's impossible. Why do I, why would I even bother trying? There's a really good chance that I'm not going to be taking action on those goals today. But if instead I feed myself with different thoughts, thoughts like it's possible, you can do it. Believe in yourself. This is just the beginning. I just need to take action. I'll figure it out even if there's obstacles along the way. When you are thinking thoughts like this every single day, okay, because remember, thought work is a daily practice. When you believe in yourself, even when the results aren't there yet, but when nonetheless you still continue to have faith and total trust in yourself, You show up in a different way every single day. You don't waste your time. You prioritize your tasks and you make time for the things that are truly important to you because you've identified those things. You've set your goals. Okay. Like right now in this month, you know what's important to you. You know why you want to achieve it. And your intention is to believe in yourself every single step of the way. I genuinely believe that there isn't a more powerful thought out there in the world that you can embrace. Like when you're embracing that thought, I believe I can do it. Okay. Nothing is going to stop me. I'm going to figure it out. Imagine a person that wakes up each day, believing that thought. I believe I can do it. The feelings that surge through your body when you are holding on to a thought like that are feelings of confidence, determination, resilience, and strength. So before I end this episode, I know I've just given you a little bit of a pep talk on the power of thought and the importance of believing yourself along the way. I do want you to take the time to actually do this exercise that I'm suggesting in this episode, which is pulling out your journal and imagining that you were sitting there on the last day of the year and you've, there's two scenarios. I mean, two scenarios are going to exist. One you will have achieved your goal. Or the second alternative is that you didn't achieve your goal. And I want you to brain dump all the reasons why, one, in that first scenario, you didn't get that. Why? What's a reason? What held you back? What were you not doing? What was keeping you stuck? Answer the questions, write all the reasons down that you can think of. And don't say that you don't know, like there's a really good chance that you know exactly why you didn't get that goal. And then there was a second alternative where there you are, you are celebrating, you're amazing, you know how amazing you are, you're so proud of yourself. I mean, of course, you're going to be feeling so proud of yourself if you achieved your goal. How did you do it? Ask that future version of yourself. What did you do differently? What are the thoughts that you were embracing? What were the actions that you were taking because you were feeling confident and determined? Obviously, you needed to be fueled by those feelings in order to take action. And you probably believed in yourself the entire year. You had trust and faith that you could do it. So this is an exercise that is so valuable and I know it seems like super simple, but whether you like it or not, these next 330 days or however many days that we've got left in the year are going to pass. And the only thing that right now has the power to change the results that you're going to see on December 31st are the thoughts and feelings and actions you were taking along the way. And the coolest thing is you get to decide what those thoughts, feelings, and actions are. Isn't that amazing? I mean, it's the power of the mind, which is so underestimated by so many people in this world. And I know that once upon a time, I thought it was just all about the actions that you take. Like I thought the actions are going to get you there, but I promise you actions that are taken that aren't fueled with confidence and a real strong belief in yourself often fall flat. So my friend, that is it for my short and sweet episode today. I do hope that you go out and do that exercise because I promise you it's going to be a game changer, like step forward into time and ask yourself those questions. For anyone that's looking for more support, please reach out because I'm doing private coaching again. You can find all the info or the link to my dreaming to doing coaching experience in the info for this episode. Take care as always. I love and appreciate all and I can't wait to catch you on the next episode. Until then, dream big, my friend. Thank you. 
you so much for listening. If you loved this episode, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out. And if you really loved it, you can show your support by leaving a review on iTunes. For more inspiration, head over to dreambigmyfriend.com where you will find even more content for all the dreamers out there. Until next time, dream big, my friends.